Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in to another channeled message for you all. Thank you so much uh, if you are new here and watching the video for the first time. I go by the name of Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am a clairaudient reader, so what that means and what how things work on my side of the planet as I do incorporate music into my readings and the way that it works, the name of the song, lyrics within the songs, name of the artists, uh, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, uh, whatever I may be channeling in the moment, uh, it will all correlate to whatever the cards may be showing and everything tends to blend very beautifully. So what I may be channeling, the cards and um, the music, everything just kind of uh, brings, or I should say paints, um, a very detailed message uh, picture for you all. So I hope that you enjoy this reading, enjoy the way that I read. I will that these messages resonate with you. Uh, to all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I do want to just let you all know that I channel messages as they come. Um, I definitely did not want to push out any readings during Mercury retrograde because as we all know Mercury is the uh, planet of communication so I didn't want to miscommunicate um, any messages I didn't want to put out any information out there uh, prematurely so I wanted to just kind of wait for that Mercury retrograde energy to pass to then provide a more clear message concise message for you all so without further ado we're going to go ahead and proceed with the read uh but before we do let's go ahead and do some house cleaning ashe I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the number synchronicity vibrations of my cards, and so it is, so mote it be, Ashe, 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 yo. So what we have playing on the playlist is we have uh, Freddie uh, Gibbs, this is uh, his Tiny Desk Concert. And it is currently 1034, so that breaks down to 44, uh, which breaks down to 8. Um, so 1034, that 44 is showing me um, there's definitely some karmic changes um, that are taking place. Perhaps uh, karmic completions. We are in an 8 universal year. Uh, this is the year of the dragon. So there's been a lot of... Um, things exposed this year, I really feel, um, especially karmic ties or, you know, certain trauma bonds that you could have been um, connected to. I feel like you may have um, had some sort of revelation or something could have come into uh, fruition for some of you all. I definitely get a strong sense of you leaning um, in your power, or utilizing your power. Um, standing up for yourself more, standing your ground more, speaking your truth more, um, just exhibiting a sense of strength um, is what I'm picking up. Maybe this is one of the years that you feel more empowered or more powerful uh, because you could have severed the ties uh, karmically with an individual that could have been holding you back or with an individual that could have been um, causing a lot of um, confusion maybe there was some codependencies in um, said relationship and this doesn't have to be um, 
a love ship with a partner. This could even be a work relationship. This could even include uh, your relations and dynamics with your family, um, maybe even friends, uh, people that you have known for an extended period of time. So with that number eight, I am uh, strongly getting a, a, a sense of strength um, and resilience uh, from those who this may um, be applicable to. I just feel you feel stronger. You feel more empowered. If some of you were under the weather or you fell sick or you may have caught COVID or whatever it is, I definitely feel like you're getting your strength back. You're no longer as fatigued or um, if you are recovering from some sort of um, operation or some sort of medical procedure, I definitely feel like you're getting stronger or you're able to make use of um you know whatever that um you know whatever that ailment was impacting in your physical body um you're able to move around more you're you have your autonomy or you're getting your full autonomy back so it's it's an energy of strength um eight also to me reminds me of um, like the star card, it is the 17th card, but it reduces to eight. So whenever I think of eight, I think of wish fulfillments as well. Um, I get someone very hopeful, someone who has maintained a certain level of optimism, um, even throughout some of the most arduous battles. I definitely get someone optimistic, someone who's a go-getter, someone who doesn't give up, someone who is just a very um, strong-willed, individual if you will so um, I'm, I'm feeling because of that um, there are some blessings that are going to be pouring through some wish fulfillments some answered prayers um, is also what I'm getting because I feel that you're more in harmony uh, with yourselves I feel that there's this sense of balance um, you are now in alignment uh, with whatever it is you are destined to do, be whomever you're destined to be in a company of. I feel like those individuals or that um, alignment is taking place. I feel like you are preparing for the change, um, this very monumental change that's taking place in your lives. So um, buckle up, beloveds, because it's about to be a very, very... Um, adventurous ride um, there's gonna be a lot of twists and turns but there's definitely going to be a lot of excitement and a lot of adventure you know I'm, I'm, I'm just getting adventure I'm getting excitement I'm getting um, even you know the need to be more spontaneous so some of you all may come out of that um, energy of reservation or um, maybe even if you were in hermit mode because you have been working um, through something karmically um, I feel like there is just this point where you're just gonna take off because that number eight also makes me feel like there's some sort of movement forward because I'm seeing like the eight of wands in my mind's eye um, as well uh, so I do feel like something is rushing um, you know you could be moving forward quickly um, there could be some unexpected change, something could be happening spontaneously, and it just is a very invigorating feeling that I'm picking up. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead. Uh, someone could be dealing with someone named Freddie or Gibbs, or someone could have an F or a G in their first, middle, or last name. Um, I definitely am also picking up with Mad Lib. He has uh, since transitioned into the spirit realm. So for some of you, may, you may have... Um, and that is a masculine energy. So some of you may have a masculine energy that watches over you, that is helping you um, to reach this milestone. Because I feel like this is a milestone. I'm almost seeing like mountains. Uh, so you've been through like these peaks and valleys um, in your journey. But you have reached what I'm seeing is the top of the mountain in a very victorious um state so it's it's a beautiful energy overall that i'm picking up on but that is what i'm picking up intuitively we're going to see what the cards have to say um so it is now 10 40 uh and that breaks down to five so five is dealing with that uh energy of the um hierophant so a lot of lessons have been learned um i'm also feeling like you've matured a lot 
um, in this journey. You know, there was a need to mature. Maybe there were some old ideologies and belief systems that you may have had to part ways with. And, um, you know, it's, it's very important, very necessary uh, to evolve, you know, even our thoughts. Because a lot of times um, people will transform their physical appearance um, and just completely abandon the work that's necessary for the internal transformation that is to take place. So to be in full alignment and in full harmony and balance, you have to have um, your, your internal world has to reflect the external and vice versa. The external should be reflecting your internal world. So this is a very um, a beautiful energy because I feel like there's been work done in that regard. Like you are being acknowledged for doing the work. I feel like you're wiser. I feel like you are stronger, smarter. I feel like you don't make decisions um, without you know, taking the time to meditate or contemplate on them now. Um, there's more of this energy of tapping into your divinity, um, being more, um, you know, more in an energy of creating or birthing uh, new ideas, honing new skills, mastering your craft, sharpening those skills. Um, very studious um, energy. Uh, you could be studying under a master teacher. You could have joined some sort of a forum. Um, maybe you are taking classes online. Uh, some of you could be sitting at the feet of an elder going through some sort of initiation. Uh, maybe you are getting some sort of certifications. Uh, and so you are perhaps maybe interning someplace. Uh, but I am absolutely uh, seeing that there's a very studious energy, a very learned energy. And it's only going to catapult you forward. So this is beautiful what I'm picking up. So without further ado, um, what we have on the bottom of the deck, we have this number 81. So that is falling in line exactly with what I have been describing, uh, with what I've been seeing in my mind's eyes, just someone who is more empowered, stronger. Um, and with leadership, you're, you're taking the reins and you're moving in the direction that you see fit best for yourself. 1212 on the clock, and that does break down to 33. 33 breaks down to six. Um, three deals with that empress energy, so very powerful energy. So it does correlate with this message of leadership um, because she is a leader. She's a boss, just like the emperor. They rule empires. Um, they are very powerful. Uh, they are, you know, powerful in many aspects, but powerful in the sense of um, being able to be master manifestors, um, having a sense of self mastery. Uh, by reaching that level of self-mastery, by going through those different schools of thoughts um, to be able to attain um, that title of empress or emperor. Um, that is a very, very, um, that is a very um, regal title to carry. It's, it really speaks to um, beauty and attraction, um, power. Um, you are tapping into your divinity as a divine feminine and divine masculine, perhaps, uh, with birthing those new styles and, you know, uh, creatively or artistically, or perhaps you're just expressing yourself more. Uh, in this deck, that 33, um, that card 33 is communication. So some of you could be great communicators or orators. Uh, maybe you have uh, your own podcasts or you have... Um, your own um, platforms where you disseminate information. Um, but I am absolutely getting this notion that um, you could be a very powerful communicator or maybe you create music um, and through your artistry of um, songs and lyrics, you could be inspiring and healing others. Um, I'm just getting a strong sense when you are considered a leader, leaders, um, they know how to lead, uh, so they cultivate um, and empower others to feel like they can step up and become leaders in their own right. Uh, so this is someone who's confident, um, that doesn't shy away from um, removing themselves from a situation to give someone else that opportunity to show 
um, improve. So this is someone who's not threatened. A leader knows what they bring to the table. And as I said, they cultivate uh, other leaders. You know, they help to, um, you know, guide, you know, individuals in the right direction and um, very selflessly as well. So this is the energy I'm picking up. Um, you are someone who's taken full control of your life and the direction that your life may be going in. Um, right now we have Stevie Wonder, All in Love is Fair. Um, so if some of you are wondering about love matters, uh, because I can only imagine that there's a lot of individuals who have been um, independent, you know, these past couple of years, uh, they have released themselves from karmic relationships or from any trauma bonds, whether it be uh, romantically, whether it be by means of um, familial connections, friendships, jobs, whatever it is. I feel like you've since severed the ties to those uh, toxic connections and you've been working on the self internally, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically even. Um, and so now there could be, you know, this this longing or this yearning um, perhaps for a partner or for commitment or for love or to share um, the aforementioned with someone. So I do feel like Spirit is saying with all in love is fair um, that you will have someone that will um, reciprocate your love language. They will, you know, meet you where you are, so to speak. So um, if you are looking for someone uh, who is going to be, let's say, communicative more so um, than those uh, lovers from your past, then you will have um, just that. You will have someone who will be fair, someone who will treat you fairly. Um, and when you're treated fairly, that means you will be receiving justice in a situation that maybe in the past, um, like I said, there could have been some karmic ties. So I do feel like um, if you have wonders of, you know, matters of the heart, or if you're wondering how things are going to turn out in terms of your romantic life or your love life, uh, Spirit is saying that all is going to be fair, uh, which means that there will be some balance. Uh, what we have here on the split is we have this 81 and this number one. So these both break down to 10. 10 represents new beginnings, endings and new beginnings, as we can see here. Um, so that 10 also deals with the will of fortune. So there will be a turning point is what I'm feeling. Spirit is saying something is turning or moving around in your favor. Uh, perhaps if there were delays because you were busy doing um, a lot of spiritual work, internal work, um, severing the ties with, um, you know, karmic relationships or toxic relationships. Um, then now there is this this opportune time for you to have this brand new beginning with someone or there is something turning around in your favor uh, the 10 the wheel of fortune is speaking to destiny so I feel like whomever or whatever is coming in um, it's destined to come it's destined to um, enter into your life at this time so I do feel like it's all a matter of divine timing um, and so, you know, whatever you were doing in this process, healing and working on yourself, I feel like whomever you're attracting could have been mirroring you. There could have been, um, you know, some shadow work being done. So this is very beautiful. So let's tap in. So someone's name could be Stevie, first, middle, or last. Let's tap in on Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection. Um, spirit, peace, power, and protection. I don't know why, but I just heard like, um, you know, back in the days they had the show Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, and there was um, this young man, uh, Stevie J. He is like in, you know, the entertainment world. He's like a producer. He's produced artists like Jodeci and Mary, and, you know, he was under Puffy. Um, but I just heard like, the young lady that he was kind of creeping on his woman with Jocelyn. I heard her saying Stevie, like I heard it in, in her, <laughs> in her, um, <laughs> um, how do you say? I heard it. I heard her saying it in her, um, in her pronunciation, in her language. Cause I think she's like, um, I don't know if she's Dominican or if she's Puerto Rican, but she said it with a strong 
accent. So I, I, I'm just hearing Stevie. Like, and so I don't know if someone's name is Stevie and someone used to just kind of jokingly call them Stevie. Um, maybe someone's name is Jocelyn. Maybe someone's from Florida because I believe that's where she was from. Um, or maybe someone is from Atlanta that's checking in and they could be dealing with someone named Stevie or, or Jocelyn. Um, but that's just what I was picking up. Very, very strange. But I just wanted to, to tap in. That might resonate with maybe a few or maybe just one person. Um, if it does, please leave a comment because uh, I love when you guys let me know that, you know, what I'm channeling um, definitely resonates directly with you. So I appreciate that. So Divine Spirit, Peace, Power, and Protection. So we're going to cut the deck now. Thank you, Spirit. See what we got coming in. And we have Ralph, Ralph Tresvent, and this is called um, Sensitivity. So, um... So definitely, um, I'm, I'm, you know, water signs naturally are very sensitive, very emotionally um, intelligent. Um, but with Ralph Trezevant, what he's saying in the song is you need a man um, with sensitivity. So you could have dealt with, you know, even if you're not a man per se, um, I mean, even if you are a man per se, um, you need someone that's going to be more sensitive to your needs. Um, that's going to be fair, just like that song I uh, was saying um, prior to this. So you definitely um, are going to have someone who's going to be more sensitive, who's going to be more um, just receptive. You know, I, I just feel like they'll be more receptive because you were dealing with someone very insensitive. And if you're insensitive to someone's needs or someone's feelings, that could be rather cold you know you could feel um even if you are in a partnership you could feel alone you could feel um distant from your partner so i do feel like you may be um having someone approach you that's going to be more sensitive someone's name could be ralph or tresman first middle or last someone could also be from boston so on the bottom of the deck we have the three creativity and remember i was breaking down three earlier when i saw um um, I believe it was 12, 12 on the clock and I was breaking down that 33 and then I broke down the Empress and how she represents, you know, that divine feminine energy, that divinity um, and the masculine represents that divine um, masculine energy. So this three creativity is showing that if you are feminine, you are in a very um, maternal um matriarchal type of energy so others are drawn to you i just get this warmth that others are feeling there's this strong sense of beauty and attraction that is just emitting from you scorpios and i'm seeing that um whomever this is they could be trying to muster up the strength and the courage um and, and and spirit is saying this is someone very sensitive if you look how he's dressed he's dressed like a gentleman so i do feel like this is someone that's coming in um with some very uh strong core values in terms of how they should treat a woman or how this woman feels she should treat a man like they were raised by um strong elders or they were raised in a home with um a mother and father who were together for like 30, 40, 50 years, or maybe they saw their grandmother or grandfather um, together for that long. And so it's, it's kind of, um, you know, it has uh, created this, this dialogue in their, in their mind of what, um, what a man is or what a woman is and what they represent in a partnership. And so there's this energy of, of, of strength, someone mustering, I feel, the strength because the three deals with the solar plexus so i am getting a strong sense of someone like mustering up the strength um you know to approach you you know that three is also showing me like the three of wands uh where there is this planning preparing and strategizing before taking action to come towards you when you think of the three of wands there is um you know this this energy that's standing on a cliff and you can see clearly that there are uh, some ships that are docking. They're approaching the dock. So it's almost as if this person was expecting, um, you know, this, 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 these, this, you know, this uh, manifestation, if you will, of um, these ships. So it's, it's whatever you have 
been putting out into the ethers, whatever work you've been doing, um, I feel like it's it's manifesting something um, very beautiful, and it's almost like it's this brand new, fresh start. It's it's opening up something um, that's going to lead to like success and victory. I'm also getting like the three of pentacles, so it's like whatever this is you do is a very unique gift. Um, and this is something that will, um, this will generate, you know, wealth. This will generate, um, financial freedom for some of you. Like, I feel like this is really, cause this is an all yellow card and it reminds me of the sunshine and the sunshine, um, just represents the dawning of a new day. It represents illumination and clarity and strength and abundance and joyous times you know so this is almost giving me a sense of like you know um positive energy you know just very positive energy happy energy after some very uh difficult times because it's like you've turned pain into power you know because you also get the three of swords from that as well um and we have Al Jarreau, 1976 some of you could have been born in 1976 and this is called take five so for take five, that's like taking a five minute break. Um, but I'm also gathering, um, you you took time to work on this. Um, with take five, five deals with that same energy I was breaking down earlier, the Hierophant. So I do feel like you took some time, it could have been five months, five years, um, to really self-improve, to work on your creative gifts, honing those artistic and creative talents. Um, mastering those skills ultimately to become um, this divine feminine so you've definitely mastered um, the art of turning pain into power because now you're in this regal energy this royal energy and you are most attractive if I do say so um, what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have relationship change so what did I say about you know for some of you there may be a potential for new love ships new relationships to come because we had all in love is fair by Stevie Wonder and I was just saying how some of you could be wondering about love because everything has just been all work no play um, it's been about the family, taking care of the household, but you've been kind of lost in translation, um, doing all of the aforementioned. So now, uh, Spirit is saying that there's a potential for a love, um, you know, relationship change. So if you are currently single, then that means you will change to being in a partnership or being in a committed connection. 56 breaks down to 11. 11 is the justice card. And remember, I was saying that things would be fairly... Um, would be handled fairly and justly because Stevie Wonder was saying that things, um, you know, love is all in love is fair. So when I think of fairness, I think that things are going to be handled justly. If it's going to be fair, it's going to be just. Um, and that's Mama Ma'at ensuring that. So that 11 spirit is ob obviously um, telling you that there will be a choice because that 11 breaks down to two. To two. So um, you will be the one that makes the decision on whether you choose to move forward in a relationship, a love ship, a partnership or not. And as I said earlier, um, just taking the time to contemplate and uh, trust your intuition, use discernment with every decision um, because there's a possibility that you may feel stuck at a fork in the road um, in trying to make a relationship um, decision or choice. So. Um, it's going to call for you to do a little more meditating. Um, when you break down the 11, that's 2. And then this card is 3, that's 5. And remember, the name of the song is Take 5. So Spirit wants you to take some time uh, to get this right. You know, because um, it can lead to challenges. 5 not only is insinuating change, because change is inevitable. Um, but 5 also can insinuate that you have challenges. Or some certain obstacles um, that you will make you may have to face if you make the wrong decision so spirit is saying you know what you have coming towards you because what I have uh, what I'm about to pull is the card um, for what you're attracting to you so divine spirit of peace power and protection what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit thank you so we got three messages thank you all right so the first one we have healing and so this is always 
the first step to knowing this thyself in order to know thyself you have to first heal thyself to learn to love thyself and when you love thyself then you know thyself so this healing process is what your person is going through and that six six you know that's showing that there is some sort of intuitive or telepathic connection between you and whomever this person is this could be someone you know from the past because as we saw earlier there was just this energy of you know someone who um you know could be kind of like have you on their mind could be thinking of you um and you could be picking up on this this could be someone that you know maybe trying to come towards you um that you will have to make a decision about with the 66 healing that 12 deals with that energy of the hangman so whomever this person is they are now looking at you um in a whole new light you know this person has been forced in the sacrificial position uh because they could have been just doing things bit very stubbornly um they could have been hard-headed um whatever the case may be it could even be self-sabotage but they are now seeing you as this empress, this emperor, this goddess, this god. They're seeing you as someone very attractive, very wise, very loving, tender, caring. Um, and this is emitting some sort of healing power um, to them. They are healing perhaps by watching and observing you. Um, so whomever this is, it's like they're getting some sort of different perspective about who you are. They're now in the same energy of three um as you are so they're mirroring you as i was saying earlier i was picking up um like there was a sense of um shadow work being done so you are attracting someone because these threes these both represent three and when you think of that three plus three that's six i just saw 31 31 that's four four and that breaks down to eight so this person is up in their head i get self-sabotage i get um you know self-imposed mental anguish but back to the three three the three three is communication so what this person is trying to do is communicate with you telepathically or intuitively or they're just stuck thinking about you or stuck in their head or you're renting space in their head but the three is also showing that this person um could very well be in a space where they're heartbroken um you know and they're healing from heartache and heart break and loss and pain and agony um in the same way that you've had to um and through this healing process, I feel like they're starting to recognize and realize um, some of the errors that they may have made, uh, some of the things they could have done, um, which led to um, the demise of relationships. Even if this is someone new, um, they could be currently um, departing a relationship with someone else um, and healing from that, you know, and in healing that uh, part of themselves, they can recognize um, the beauty in you, you know, the beauty in you, they could recognize, um, you know, that you may carry some of those core values that they look for in their partner, you know, so this is an energy of six altogether and six deals with the lovers. And when you think of the lovers, there is an angel that oversees that union and the angel is who brings, um, these two individuals into alignment and remember we you know where we saw that patience um i was speaking to divine timing earlier and how patience is necessary um you know so when things are happening in divine timing it's very um imperative to be patient uh and trust the process because if spirit is aligning you with something that you um are destined to, to come into alignment with, as we saw earlier with the number 10. So what we have, and look, as I said, 10, 46, 10 comes out, and this says domestic harmony. So you are in harmony with someone that you will have some sort of domestic harmony. When I think of this card, it shows me like the 10 of Pentacles, and that is emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment. That's like, you know, establishing um, wills. This is... Um, you know, having a very devoted and supportive and loving uh, partner. Um, this is someone that you definitely have that happily ever after with. Someone that you can build a business with or build that family with. This is someone solid um, that is going to have your back, middle, and front. And what we have um, is Luther Vandross singing Never Too Much. 
Someone's name could be Luther or Vandross, first, middle, or last. But with never too much, no matter what the ask is, it's never going to be too much for this person. And that's vice versa. Whatever they need from you, you're going to show up. Um, as we saw earlier, because things will be here handled fairly. Um, this person is going to be someone very supportive, very serious. Um, and they're going to take their time to, to take care of you. You know, if you're a feminine, you're going to have a very uh, protective masculine um, that's going to, you know, feel like he has to protect his family. So he is definitely going to be sensitive um, about your needs. And the same thing is applicable for a masculine that comes into union with a feminine. She's going to be very protective of you and she's going to give you the best advice and she's going to make sure to pray over you and the family and feed you and nurture you the way that a maternal energy would. So this is a very balanced um, energy with domestic harmony. I feel um, you both are showing up for one another. Um, and this is just making a very healthy um, and loving connection overall. And there goes the 33 communication card I was talking about. And there we have it. And we have 333. Some of you all could be seeing 333. You know, um, if you're seeing that 333, that definitely um, speaks to your angels being with you. Threes deal with that ascended master energy. Um, so 333, you could be seeing that number that breaks down to nine. Um, and nine is the highest number of change. Nine also represents spiritual knowledge. So there is someone who could be in some sort of like hermit mode as well. Um, so even this is 3332. When you break down the 12, that's three. So your person is also very spiritual and they're getting a lot of divine interventions and downloads as well. And that's what's forcing them to start this healing process because they're having a lot of angelic messages. Um, 363699. Nine. So definitely you have someone who is made in your likeness. Um, this is someone who's also going through some sort of rites of passage or they're healing from some sort of karmic relationship as well. Um, I don't feel this is someone you were in a relationship with. I feel this is someone that you will be aligning with. So you're on your spiritual journey the same time they are and you're just going to meet at the right time. So that's what that whole point of divine timing is. What we have here is we have this uh, 85 that breaks down to 13, um, which is the energy of death. Um, but this is how someone feels about you, and that's what's on the bottom of the deck. And they feel that you are a wish fulfillment or a dream come true. I did speak, you know, a little about me feeling like that number 17, the 8, um, you know, the 17 that breaks down to 8, the star card, reminds me of like wish fulfillments or it reminds me of some sort of um, blessing coming through or some sort of um, just some sort of answered prayer. Um, and it has a lot to do with, you know, someone really just holding on to hope and balancing things out within themselves. This 8513 that shows major change um, and transformation that has occurred within you. And when you transform, you emerge someone different. And so you are seen as someone who has a strong sense of self-love for you. Um, you love yourself. You love yourself enough to walk away from toxic relationships, people, places, things. Um, to, you know, really find the joy and the happiness in the scenario. So you're doing things that are going to catapult you um, forward or that's going to nurture your soul uh, and make you feel, you know, um, fulfilled. So this is beautiful. And someone sees you um, as very attractive, very beautiful, and ultimately as a wish fulfillment. Um, and that force also showing that they have a lot of love. Their heart chakras open wide for you, and we have um, we have the midnight special, and this is called the world is a ghetto war. The midnight special. So this person could be kind of like, you know, warring with themselves, having this battle. You know, um, could be like something related to the ego um, and pride. Uh, but I feel like there is going to be um, just this this forward movement. Because uh, this four is also showing me that someone could be in that four of cups energy as well, where they feel like they've missed an opportunity. Um, if this is someone from the past, per se, um, even if this isn't someone you were karmically 
tied to maybe this is someone you could have dated or saw occasionally that could be feeling this like they've missed some sort of opportunity um, especially with the world as a ghetto so maybe someone is realizing um, you know maybe that you're an earth angel even amongst all of this negativity perhaps they've dealt with others um, after dealing with you and they realize that you know it, it there's not it's, it's very slim pickings if you will so let's tap in and see what the cards actually have to say that's just what i was picking up intuitively so how does this person i love scorpio is picking up on them feel about them so i'm only taking the card that's faced upright. everything else is down so i'm not going to take those but the card that is upright is individuality so they see you as someone very in in independent and very self-sufficient they also know that you're highly intuitive so that could be why they're sending you uh, these telepathic messages communicatively um, they're like literally like sending you messages so that 33 breaks down to six that deals with the first eye you know and you even have 666 666 here which is um, symbolic of six protons six neutrons six electrons uh, so this is definitely someone who's um i feel like this is someone who's also um very spiritual like i get a very spiritual person i get someone very in tune very connected i get someone very intuitive you know someone who's very um sensitive to energy this could be someone who's um you know just like a they can pick up on energy but this person sees you as a psychic, that 11, um, that 2 deals with the uh, high priestess. So it's like there's there's things that this person feels you may be secretive about. Maybe you are very private. You know, maybe this person is trying to do their own research and they can't find much. You know, they can't find much on you. I'm just also getting a sense of like this person really um, seeing how much you've been working on your independence you know like you've been really striving to be self-sufficient um striving even um to you know manage your money better or to you know to provide for yourself you know and not just provide but to really like strive for greatness so it's like this person sees you in an, a, a very regal energy and we have this leadership at the bottom of the deck so they do see you as a boss. They see you as someone who's in control. They see you as special, ultimately. And the sun just kind of started shining brightly when I said that. There we have it. Look at that. So this person does see you as very special. If you see right there, the last word in the, the um, title, special. So they do feel very special feelings for you. And when I see this too, you know, when you work on yourself and heal that self, what did I say? You learn to love that self. And then when you love that self, you then know that self. And when you know that self, you don't settle. So you could have been someone who was also like, um, you know, healing or recovering from like codependent relationships. And now you're independent. Now you're more focused on taking care of yourself, prioritizing yourself. Um, and, and that's a very attractive energy. So this could be alluding to like the two of cups energy. You know, because the two of cups is like, you know, two people who have taken the time to heal themselves. You know, that's what those ones represent. So you, you've healed yourself in your whole and your person is currently healing themselves. And so they feel like they can give you their cup of love and you can, you know, exchange it for your cup of love. And this will be a very solid connection. This is like having that partner. You will have like an equal exchange of give and take so it will be reciprocal they will be sensitive to your needs they will speak your love language and vice versa and I saw 43 43 that's 7 7 that breaks down to 14 so spirit is reminding me that divine timing is of the essence because that deals with the temperance card so 7 7 14 um, there's a lot of telepathic messages coming through because 7 7 in this deck is the spirituality card so I feel like spirit is saying that there is a very spiritual connection, a very divine connection between you and this person as well. And I just want to show you because I like to show and prove so you could get a taste of what I am saying. So we just saw 4343 and that was 77. 
and here goes the seven seven spirituality see that so that's what I was picking that's what I was gathering so I was already feeling like this person was speaking to you communicatively uh, I mean telepathically or intuitively um, because of you know that energy of 33 the communication and then along with the 66 um, that deals with your first side so they know you're intuitive uh, because they see you as a high priestess and I just saw four 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 so your angels are definitely aligning you I feel like there's still some work being done behind the scenes um, but you know sometimes we have to not sometimes we have to just trust the process that's what spirit is reminding you patience so that's what's hidden in the energy as well I feel is like is just the necessity to be patient in the process because I do feel like some of you all could be getting a little stir crazy or just a little um, impatient with this process and just constantly hearing readers saying oh this is coming and this is coming and then you feel like well when you know and I just feel like there could also be a need to kind of take a pause take a moment to just like chill from the tarot cards because they could become that could become very addictive as well just sitting around watching tarot readers tell you all this amazing stuff about yourself or sometimes they tell you all the doom and gloom and then you start like accepting that as your truth and the next thing you know it's just stagnancy in your life because you're holding this tarot reader or this person channeling messages psychically or crying or whatever they're doing um, you're holding them on this pedestal of having more knowledge about your situation and circumstance than you do and so that will cause for a lot of stagnancy um, because you're submitting your will so I always encourage you all to just like you know if it's it's if it's something that confirms what you're feeling fine um, confirm things validate check to see if it correlates with your with your own messages but never just accept someone's um, someone's truth is yours you know make people prove they are who they say they are that's that's just what it is so we got this leadership card on the bottom of the deck so let's chop it so what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios let me get a message okay so this card is stuck in my hand and look what you got happy ending so you have a happy ending here and I was feeling that because I said I saw like wish fulfillments and blessings. I saw, you know, that person standing on the peak of the mountain and, and all of these ships are starting to, you know, um, dock. And it just means that things that you've been manifesting, intentions you've been setting, they have arrived. They're manifesting in real time. So it's a beautiful energy. We have um, Babyface now doing <laughs> Um, a tiny desk concert, but I'm going to skip the song. But with Babyface, some of you could definitely be from Atlanta because he's from Atlanta um, or he's based in Atlanta. I know that much. Uh, but Babyface, whoever you're attracting to, I do feel like this could be someone who's going to have like very boyish looks, child, you know, like just, you know, or maybe very girlish look, like just look younger than they may be. So this is someone that takes very good care of themselves um, so if this is someone like let's say in their 50s um, they're gonna look like they can be in their late 30s or early 40s um, this is how well this person looks they look younger than um, they actually are but I am feeling like you're gonna be super happy you're gonna be just elated overjoyed and I feel like it's because you are aligning with someone that's just on your same frequency and vibration and this is someone you're going to have a strong chemistry with um, on many levels. You know, um, you're going to share some core values. Uh, this is someone that's also going to just speak your love language. Ultimately, um, we have the number five change on the bottom of the deck for when I pull the card for um, the outcome. So let's tap in and see. But five change. We've been talking about the changes that are ensuing and that are abound and that are inevitable ultimately. So let's tap in. Thank you, spirit. So we got nature. So I said nurture. So nature, nurture. So that's very interesting. So that's the number 74. I feel like some of you could have been born in 1974. Some of you could have been born on the 3rd. Maybe you were born on uh, November, um, October 30th. You could have been born on November 3rd. November 6th, 12th, 
10th, 1st, 6th, I said that already, um, 11th, 2nd, 7th, or 4th, or even the 13th. But some of you are definitely born on 11-11, and that is a major portal. I'm seeing 11-11 here, so I do feel like you are coming into alignment with your divine counterpart. We did see that number four earlier when we started the reading. Um, it was a double four. I believe it was 1031, if I'm not mistaken, when we started the reading. And I was like, that's 44, that's eight. Um, so you are coming into alignment with, I feel, your twin flame or your soulmate. Because I feel like with this happy ending... Um, this is saying that perhaps you may bump into someone um, out in nature. This could be someone that you've already met out in nature while you could have been running errands, taking a jog um, on a nature trail. Maybe you were camping out. Maybe you were out shopping. Whatever the case may be, you've met this person perhaps in a, nat in a natural setting um, where there's sun trees, whatever it is. Um, I also feel like this, whoever this is, um, there's just, I, I feel like this is someone who could have also, like, this is a very strong chemistry. Because, you know, 11 makes double ones. You know, um, ones are very felicious, very masculine numbers. Um, and so that's what I'm gathering. I'm feeling like whomever this is, it's a divine masculine, it's highly intuitive. Um, cause that four deals with the emperor, the seven deals with the crown. Um, this is someone who's just very, you know, like the connection, the two of you share will be just a na natural connection. Like this is someone you will have chemistry or synergy with. Um, and it's going to make you very happy. And we have Michael Jackson singing human nature. So this is someone, you know, and as we're speaking about the nature card, we got Michael Jackson seeing in human nature and what was i saying you know about this person so this is definitely someone that your angels are aligning you with you know that 11 the two that's the high priest high priestess energy you're already in that energy whoever you're attracted the outcome is like you're literally it's just it's showing this magnetism you know your, your powers are magnifying um, a connection is growing or developing or aligning, I should say. Um, I definitely feel like it's necess necessary for you to get out in nature as frequent as you can uh, because nature is a very, um, it's very healing, you know, to say the least. Um, it allows you to purge and release negative energies, thoughts, um, but it also... Um, recalibrates you rejuvenates your spirit your energy recharges your batteries so to speak so it would be behoove you to be out in nature as frequent as you can um whether it's taking walks sitting by a body of water or even by some trees at your favorite park um and just soaking it all in um but there's a a, des a, 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 um, a necessity to get out in nature a little more frequently um because this is how you connect to your guides and your angels. We got the number 13, and that 13 um, is the death card. So spirit is acknowledging those efforts, those strides that I was picking up on for you all. Um, reaching you know, this level of self-mastery, um, your transformation has uh, been a very tiresome one, um, but spirit is very proud. I feel like spirit is super proud of the work that you all have done and i feel more importantly um that spirit is going to be blessing you um for said work so look what we have here this is beautiful remember we saw um i believe it was 34 34 it could have been 43 43 either way there goes that seven and look what it says the door to personal healing and happiness and remember you already pulled a happy ending card so this is just a confirmation double confirmation that things are improving for you um and it's because why seven you reach the level of self-mastery that seven deals with the crown so that speaks to your personal growth that speaks to you maturing and evolving 
Um, and you're going to have victories and success. We got the victory and the personal healing and happiness um, on the split. So confirmation that you will have victories. Um, I just see beautiful energy overall. You know, like this is just a beautiful confirmation and testament, um, you know, to the work that you've been doing. Um, we have DJ Premier and, and Remy Rap featuring Remy Ma and Rhapsody. So we got a card that jumped out and it says financial constraints. So I feel, you know, because this card came out, 13 is the death card. So that number 13, remember we saw efforts. So some of you all could have, um, you know, been trying to work on some things and you weren't really seeing a return on your investment perhaps. So that could have kind of caused some restraints financially for you. That could have caused some things um, to kind of go, you know, haywire. Um, I'm picking up on the fact that some of you could have had um, someone that was like kind of stealing from you because uh, this 30, yeah, I mean this 3 and this 13 reduces to 7 and I'm seeing like the 7 of swords. So I'm seeing like a thief. I'm seeing someone um, that was not paying you your worth or value. Um, that was just a taker. This is someone that does not reciprocate does not contribute, just takes, takes, takes. And that's what led to the end. The world card is the last card of the major arcana. So this was a very important um, lesson for you to learn in terms of finances. I feel like your money management was something that you may have needed to improve or work on. And I feel that's what the three creativity was. You had to get very creative or you had to start tapping into your divinity as a divine feminine and divine masculine to um, you know, start um, manifesting, um, you know, multiple streams of income or passive income, if you will. Um, but that was a bonus message. Some of you could be really struggling. But with Remy Rap, um, DJ Premier, featuring Remy and Rap City, um, I'm definitely, and I just want to show you, I definitely feel like something is um, transforming, something is changing for the better. Um, you've learned a lot in this journey you've learned a lot on this voyage uh and i feel like that's why spirit is saying something is about to premiere something is really about to um catapult you forward so you see that you're walking away what did i say you've already you know made the decision to walk away from people places and things um that were no longer serving you maybe you're walking away from a job um that's not paying you enough to maintain your um livelihood or to you know, keep you from robbing Peter to pay Paul. So you could be walking away from a career that you feel is just kind of stealing your energy, you know, not not paying you nearly as much as you should be paid. Uh, but definitely it, you don't feel like there's a balance, you know, a, a, a normal balance, a natural balance. And so you could be walking away from that as well and being more creative, coming up with new ideas. Uh, maybe you're working on your resume or working on a business um maybe you're you know you're just kind of uh working on new products you know and knocking that out but let's tap in and see what's coming and going out going on for my beloved scorpio spirit let me get a message of peace power and protection for my beloved scorpio i'm going to shuffle these cards as much as i can because they feel sticky and there goes this envious energy kind of lurking and there goes archangel metatron protecting you because so you do have some envy around you. There could have been envy in this place of employment, um, where you have a lot of people that may smile and beguile on your face, but behind your back, they, they they trying to take your place or they're talking smack, whatever it is. Um, and they're also stealing from you. They're not paying you your worth, or they're not uh, promoting you or putting you in the grade um, salary, the salary grade that you're supposed to be in. Uh, perhaps because of your credentials or maybe your licensing or maybe your certifications or maybe even your degrees you are not being paid what you're supposed to be paid and for some of you you may need um, you may have gone up to human resources to make complaints you've made some sort of complaints um, which could have fallen on deaf ears uh, but this was definitely um, this was a not such a pleasant situation to deal with but we do see things will become balanced you got yin and yang so someone is jealous of the fact that you are in harmony 
this envy card. This is someone who's very, very envious of the fact that you're in harmony, that you have this sense of love of self, that you've rebuilt, you know, so whomever this person is um, that could have been stealing from you, or even if this was a partner, a lover, a friend, um, whoever this is, they thought that this was going to be the death of you, or they thought that this was going to kind of like paralyze you or um, kind of stunt you a little bit. And what it did was it just allowed you to do more work within, you know, so that 22 that is, you know, deals with what did I say? The high priestess. This is also a two. So you got two, two, two here. So you may be seeing two, 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 but when you think of two, 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 that's six. So two, two, two breaks down to six. And remember, we had the six communication here. So someone could be a little envious because you're kind of glistening, you know, things are looking up, things are definitely um, improved for you. And we have uh, cemeteries, and this is called SOTUS. So cemeteries, um, that's where deceased individuals reside. And remember, we saw the 13. So this is the death of any financial constraints. I feel like you've put this to bed. You may have experienced it. You've learned from it. And now you're moving on from any type of constraints financially or any type of of um, money problems, issues, woes, uh, and you're coming into your own because you've uh, leaned on your divine power um, and you started to manifest uh, something new. You started to tap into your divinity, whatever that was, whatever that skill that you was honing earlier um, on in this process. It's like now you've mastered it and you have so many people that are interested in what you're doing so you may have a lot of customers you may have a lot of traction a lot of um a lot of traffic on your your website if you have a lot of websites i mean if you have a business website maybe if you have a platform where you um do a podcast you have a lot of people like viewing your podcast or viewing um your videos so you're you're getting a return on your investments so that's beautiful so look what we have here and it says strategy so what did i say you, you, you definitely have had to, and there goes the angel of balance. This is powerful. So this is another three. So this three, that's what you've been doing, um, is mastering your craft. You know, that's what the empress is. She is a rep, you know, a representation um, of what all the kings, you know, all the queens, pardon me, um, desire. She carries all of the attributes and characteristics of all of the queens, you know, and this is what you've had to come to. You've had to come out of this state in order to be able to manifest. And the way you were able to do that was what? Through meditating, contemplating, you know, and strategizing, um, thinking of a way out, a way out of some sort of, um, you know, financial like a financial circumstance that was causing a lot of a lot of frustration but you got real creative and you came up with some ideas and that restored the balance for you financially maybe a draw a job came through um with three three six and four so that's ten so there's definitely uh some sort of end um ending which took place and you had to make a judgment call from what I'm gathering. There was a judgment call that was necessary. Um, and in making that judgment call, that's what led to um, something ending finally. Like this is the finite product. So you've completed this chapter. So this feels very much like that karmic cycle completing um, the heartache, the loss, the financial constraints. And then finally strategizing a way out of it you know mapping a plan and if you look closely there's a feather there so your angels were giving you the angles um you were also you know being guided by those angels um maybe you were finding feathers maybe you were seeing a lot of threes three three threes maybe you were um you know just constantly having certain um, interventions and this just reminded you to keep going to keep growing to keep pushing to keep fi fighting and not to give up and that's where the strategy card showed up because now you are more strategic in your actions so that's beautiful so the card that we're about to pull now um, 
or clarify um, is the 66 healing, 46 domestic partnership, and then 33 communication. Um, it's actually 46 domestic harmony and 33 communication. And this is who or what you're attracting to you. And remember, we still have the angel of balance here. So this angel has uh, indeed stepped in to, you know, assist this person, whomever this is, that is in this process of healing um, and also reflecting. It could be doing a lot of self-reflection and there could be some self-discovery to where now they're taking some sort of onus uh, for their participation in some of the confusion or maybe even um, the disconnect between um, themselves and a partner. Uh, because that 66 is the 12 card, which is the hangman. And so they're looking at things from a different perspective. And that's because this angel has moved in to help someone find that balance. Um, so let's tap in and clarify. Why is the 66 healing? 46 domestic harmony. 33 communication here. For who or what I believe Scorpios are attracting to them. Thank you, spirit. And there goes this anxiety. So remember, I was picking up on someone having a lot of... Um, self-imposed mental anguish earlier and so this is a card for whomever that person how this person feels about you so someone is feeling that energy of anxiety heavily but the yin yang see that so this is a divine feminine and divine masculine this is your person remember i was picking up heavily that your angels were aligning you with someone and whomever this is they know they got to come correct or don't come at all um, that's why they're being very strategic, I feel, because they've been doing a lot of watching. They've been watching you have this complete evolution. You know, you've transformed. And so they know now whatever they do, they have to come correct. So this person is getting in alignment, getting into harmony with your energy because you're in that two energy, the 11, individuality, um, independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, self-loving. You know your self-worth. And so now they're coming in to bring that balance. So this is the yin to your yang or the yang to your yin um, of who or what you're attracting to you. And that four is also the vibration of the heart chakra. And look what else came out. I can't make this up. And spirit is reminding you divine timing because this is the number 14, the caring connections. That's the temperance. So Spirit is saying, it's going to be worth your while. Good things take time to create. Remember, we were speaking earlier about, you know, all in war, um, all in love is fair. And that was by Stevie Wonder. And I was saying, if some of y'all are wondering about love, well, it's coming. But you're going to have to make a decision. And I feel like for many of you, um, you see how sensitive and caring this person is. He's holding her. He's adorned her with some flowers and, he, you know, he's being very affectionate and very caring and kind. And this is a very protective um, type of energy. He's hugging her from the back. Very loving and endearing energy. So this is beautiful and this just confirms. But there are some anxieties because you come off perhaps very strong, very independent. Maybe you come off like you enjoy being independent and single and and this is like causing a lot of anxiety because someone is desiring to approach you and may not know how to. Um, we have A.A. Rashid, um, and this is Dirty Digs, and this is called The Nod. So whomever this person is, um, I feel like Spirit is giving me the nod that this is exactly how this person is feeling. Someone's name could be A.A. When I hear A.A., that's also an acronym for Archangel. So I do feel like this person could be calling on their angels, um, their spirit team ultimately to, you know, kind of help them, help navigate them out of these big emotions um, because there's a lot of anxiety, but this is self-imposed. A lot of stress, a lot of anger, a lot of fears. Um, there's a lot of red. So this could be someone, you know, who's been dealing with a lot of, um, you know, a lot of pain. Um, this is a feminine energy as well. Um, so someone, you know, could be up very anxious. I don't know if someone, some of you all are ruminating and pining up in the middle of the night, worrying about things, worrying about money, worrying about issues. That is not how you, um, you know, resolve any type of, uh, problems, you know, is worrying about it. Worrying is paying interest on problems that may never come. You don't worry about your problems. You know what I'm saying? You think of the solutions. Um, you, you speak gratitude 
uh, for what you do have. You know, even if it seems like you have very little, I guarantee you once you start making that list, it will grow the more you focus on what you're grateful for. Um, so get out of this energy if this is applicable to you. Um, but I am pulling the card for how this person you're attracting feels about you. And so I'm gathering first and foremost that this is the energy of the person you're, you know, you're attracting to you. Um, just feeling a little anxious, you know. Uh, maybe they feel like they did you a little dirty in the past because we still have that dirty digs there. So someone could feel like they've done you a little dirty. Um, or maybe someone is just aware that you could have been done dirty or you could have had some trauma bonding or karmic relationships or toxic connections in the past and this could be making them a little anxious um, because they don't want to be charged for crimes they didn't commit so to speak so let's tap in and see so divine spirit why is it wow and that fell right in like right in the right place that's crazy it fell right in the right place and look what card it is and look at that we got the the broken heart so if you were suffering from heartbreak spirit is saying that that happy ending is here. But look what came out. It said, this is how they feel about you. Happy family. Like, they feel like they could build with you. They feel like they can have that happily ever after. Hence, this domestic harmony, you know, because they've already taken the time to reflect, you know, to observe, to, you know, do the internal work, you know, to, to be honest and transparent with themselves, to take onus and accountability um, for whatever they may have done in their former relationships. And so now they're ready, you know, they're ready and they're open to, uh, you know, they're open and receptive um, to love, if you will. Um, so this person can see like happily ever after, they see stability, they see longevity, they see, you know, security, they see family, um, they see support. But mama, you see this energy of the, the rainbow, that's like mama Oya. Um, and she does rule over Scorpio. So I do feel like some of y'all could be seeing rainbows, you know, and that's a sign that something beautiful is coming. I've seen so far, I think it's been about five or six this year. I've lost count. That's how many I've seen um, this year alone since I've relocated. And they're always right in front of my house, um, right in front of my apartment. So when I step out on my patio, it's literally right there. So some of you all could be seeing rainbows as well. And that is just a sign from Mama Oya that happier times are ahead. Blessings are ahead. Stability is ahead. And it's because you've suffered a lot of pain and loss in your past and you've earned this. So whatever this happy ending is, it's because you've learned the art of turning pain uh, into power. So why is this 93 happy ending here for my beloved Scorpios for what's hidden in the energy. So some of you all could be growing impatient because it just feels like you've been putting fires out constantly without any, you know, hint of change, you know, but it's here. It's coming. So the two cards that flew out, we have attachment. So if you have had some sort of, you know, attachments, if you've been wearing a mask, if there's been ego involved, if there's been lies and deception, um, I'm getting a strong sense that these attachments are being broken. If you felt stuck, whatever you were feeling, spirit is breaking you free from that. You got two fives here. So these are both fives. And what did I say earlier about fives being very challenging energies? You know, this is the energy that you, you know, this is what's hidden. So there could be a lot going on mentally. You could be up in your head overthinking, ruminating and pining. You could feel tied up just by your own, um, you know, self-talk, you know, speaking lack, speaking negatively. Um, some of you could have been wearing masks, you know, not being your authentic selves, perhaps. And I'm getting a strong sense of like maybe this was a part of something in your past. But that's the reason why you're having a happier ending, because now you are you know, being your authentic self. You're not being um, a replica. You're not being, um, you know, this masked version of yourself. You're being your authentic self. And therefore, you will see real results. Let me get one more message. Why is this happy ending here? So it definitely shows that those attachments, even if you had some sort of generational curses, hexes, um, spells, yokes, Anything that could have potentially been binding you, because this woman is bound, you know. And if you look at the headdress, that just shows like there's a lot 
going on in the mental as well. Um, thank you, Spirit. So Spirit is showing that there are opportunities. Remember I was saying something about you kind of like being stuck at a fork in the road and having to make a decision. So based on the decisions you make, that's what leads you to the happy ending. But look who's here protecting you. I told you, you had the, the protection of your angels. I just broke down that AA and AA Rashid Archangel. So your Archangels have been present um, throughout this reading because remember I saw that 33 and 333 and you know and saw so many threes and I was saying well that's the number of the ascended masters remember we started the reading with the number eight so Archangel Mikael is providing a very fiery impenetrable wall force field and shield of protection for you so that's what's going to lead to the victory we saw earlier to the door to personal healing and happiness and now to this happy ending and this happy family and you being into harm in harmony and having caring connections because you are no longer stuck, you know, in this state of being. You're no longer um, attached to or anchored to things that are bringing you down energetically or vibrationally. Um, and it's because you're realizing that you have... Um, Options, you you know, you have other options, but that 24 is reminding you always use your intuition, always trust your intuition, um, use discernment. The six deals with the first die. So, Archangel Mikael is cutting you free from the hexes, yoke spells, from these ties that are binding you, or that have you bound, and also from this chain that has her stuck um, in this very dark and gloomy place. Archangel Mikael is coming through with the artillery, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to break you free from all of, you know, that low vibrational energy. So that's beautiful. So thank you. And some of you need to do um, on Tuesdays are Archangel Mikael's days. So you could light him a candle and you could say a prayer um, to Archangel Mikael and you do that for nine consecutive weeks every Tuesday. Um, and just pay homage and ask, um, you know, for whatever it is you need him to work um, miraculously in your life. So let's tap in. Why is the 74 nature card here for our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Why is the 74 nature card here for our beloved Scorpios for the outcome? These cards are so sticky. And the thing about it is I cleanse them. All right, there goes your message. So your community is coming through for you. So this is having a support system, your angels, your guides. If you look closely, there are orbs of light that always symbolizes that there are spiritual uh, presence. Your ancestors, your angels are around you. So when you have this community card, that's what I was picking up, um, that when you get out in nature, you're going to see a lot of, of uh, synchronicities or a lot of um, different interventions that could take place either by means of running into you know, angel numbers or maybe even animal totems or maybe you'll have certain sensations or maybe you'll bump into a person and have a certain type of encounter. Um, your angels are supporting you. They're protecting you. Um, and this is confirmation. It goes to throat chakra. So there is some form of communication. I feel like this is good news that's coming. I feel like you're going to be elated. Remember, we pulled the 33. So perhaps maybe that person is kind of sitting there you know, kind of um, having this little schoolboy or, uh, you know, schoolgirl, schoolboy crush. They're, they're finally going to open up their throat chakra and express themselves. This is the number 39. Perhaps that is the reason why you have happy ending because that's 93. Um, you know, this is the numbers kind of reversed. So 39, 93 are the same numbers. So that could lead to a happy ending is, a, you know, some communication that comes through. Perhaps it's not about love at all. Maybe it's just about your stability and maybe you'll get a message from or a call from a job and someone is going to be sitting here very envious. Um, someone may communicate to you um, that has some jealousy. They have some some envy. You know, they have this, these, this devil energy that they're operating in. And this is someone who's obviously in a competition. You know, this is a competitive energy. This is someone who's very preoccupied with you, you know, and not on themselves. 
Um, what we have right now playing is Miriam Makiba, and it says Pata Pata, 1967. Some of you could have been born in 1967. Someone's name could be Miriam or Makiba, first, middle, or last. Um, just be mindful that you have a very, um, this is this like the third or fourth time that envy card showed up. So you do have some jealousy and envy um, that looms around you, Scorpios. Um, so just be mindful of that. Don't do too much of bragging. Even if you got things going on, new jobs, new career, new move, new house, new car, whatever it may be um, new taking place in your life. Just keep it to yourself. Um, share that with people that you know you could trust, you know. Um, but I, that's not social media post. Um, I, I would not put things like that on social media because most of the people that you have in your friend list, you don't even communicate with. Um, <laughs> you know, and they're not even your friends, to be honest with you. Um, so it's really important to be mindful of what you're sharing because people have so many reasons for being jealous. And sometimes people will compare their lifestyle to others because it appears that someone may have more than they have. And so they'll start becoming very envious of another person because they assume that someone is just doing so well. And, you know, sometimes you could just be humbly posting it because you genuinely were happy about it. And others could mistake it as braggadocious. Um, and that could force, you know, that could be the reason why they could throw those little negative darts your way. So just be mindful of not always feeling the need to post your daily, you know, daily movements. So I was going to pull that card, um, but Spirit told me to pull actual tarot cards first. And then I'll save that for last. So what we have here is, look at that. Now, something could be coming in because remember, you're going to be happy. Spirit already caught, confirmed what's hidden that you don't know about is you're going to have a happy ending. So regardless or contrary to how things may appear right now, this is confirming that. I feel like this is spirit confirming. And if you look here, this always reminds me of like, you know, the world card in traditional tarot is like a wreath. And that's what this looks like. But if you look closely, you could see inside of that wreath is like all of the mountains, which represents or symbolizes all of the, the arduous battle, the drama, the, the, the toxicity, the negativity you had to endure, but you persevered from it to get to this point where now, you know, this point where now spirit is awarding you. I was feeling like you were going to be rewarded. And there it is, because here goes the 21, which is in traditional tarot, the world card. So after having that financial constraint, you know, that you had to learn and grow from and strategize a way out of, Spirit is now blessing you with a new offer. This is a tangible offer. So whatever this is that's being offered to you, it isn't going to just be empty words, empty promises. It's going to be backed up by, you know, an actual tangible thing. So this is beautiful. Um, you have a guy playing Let's Chill. So someone may, you know, call you feminines, even if you're masculine, someone may call and just say, hey, let's chill, you know, what you got going on. And this confirms that. Look at that. I can't make this up. So the three of cups shows like, you know, you, you coming into some sort of um, reunion with someone, meeting up with your friends, linking up with some folks. Um, there could be a masculine that invites a feminine out for, um, you know, some dinner or whatever. And this is going to lead to something tangible. It could lead to a partnership, even an engagement, a marriage. Um, either way, this is going to be happy. Um, I see a pumpkin, so this is making me feel like this could happen around your solar return, maybe next month. Because um, pumpkins, I, you know, that's usually like um, Halloween, you know, but it's also Thanksgiving because people have pumpkin pies for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So, you know, this latter part of the year, I feel like you're going to be celebrating. Um, you may be with a lot of family during this time. Um, you're going to be reuniting. I just, I just feel a sense of reuniting. Um, someone's definitely making an offer and you're going to be sitting pretty. Look at that. You know, if you're masculine, you're just going to be doing the thing. It's just going to be things are looking up. You know, this is someone regal, royal. This is like pre-emperor status here. You know, this is a beautiful energy of someone who's self-sufficient, someone who has created their own wealth. Um, so you've taken an idea and you have like turned it into um, a million dollar business or you turned it into something that's 
literally um, bringing something long like bringing some longevity into your life. With this Four of Pentacles, you have been kind of holding back uh, while you focus on your finances or while you focus on uh, a particular project. Yep. So you've been really studious, really busy, um, and that's why you're being rewarded because you didn't allow yourself to get distracted. It's like you you got your eyes on the prize, you know, um, and you are not going to stop until, you know, you feel like you, you've you reached that um, that level of um, financial freedom that you're seeking. So the last spirit of peace, found protection, there goes the end of the road, you're done. This is, you know, that 10 that we saw earlier, you know, completion of cycles or karmic completions, wrapping up, feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders, but overcoming that to be, you know, finally rewarded by spirit. And that's why they kept reminding you, um, you know, with that temperance card or that number 14, which deals with temperance, uh, which is all about taking, um, you know, taking the time to get things right. Um, and sometimes that could allude to the fact that, you know, spirit wants you to really do more healing or really wants you to focus on um, certain aspects, you know, to discover more about yourself before they just catapult you into something new. So I feel like divine timing is definitely of the essence. So the card on the bottom of the deck is we have the world card. And I mentioned the world like umpteen times and here it is. I mentioned the world card being the 21st card and there we have it confirmation thank you spirit i love it and there goes the wreath i was talking about that you could see on you know in that um ace of pentacles remember that little wreath i showed you and this is her you know just kind of showing how she's evolved she's been through enormous change but she's elevated she's grown she's matured and she's learned the art of master manifesting so this is someone who knows how to co-create with source powerful energy being this also shows that you've You've matured and you've leveled up. Therefore, that door to personal healing and happiness is going to open up for you. Someone is going through a tower moment that you're attracting to you. And what did I say about towers? Towers definitely indicate endings, but there's something that happened drastically. So someone could have discovered something within their relationship or within their marriage or their connection. And, you know, all of the red flags that were ignored are now being brought to someone's attention and the ish is hitting the fan. So much so that these people are being thrown or thrusted out of the castle. So perhaps two people have moved out of a home. This 46 domestic harmony could definitely insinuate that there's been an ending of a relationship because it is a 10. So this can definitely speak to someone um, who's healing after the demise of a relationship. And this is the person that you're attracting to you. Who or what you're attracting to you. So whomever this person is, they got to go through their own healing process if they've experienced a tower moment or if they've experienced some sort of karmic endings or had to endure some certain karmic lessons. And that's what teaches them ultimately to be in harmony with themselves. You got to first love yourself before you can love others. And so that's what this 22 is all about. You got to be in harmony and balance within the self. And then you can start extending that love to other people. And that's why this 14 divine timing temperance is here under the person or who or what you're attracting to you. So with that tower there, endings, new beginnings, why is the 66 healing, 46 domestic harmony, 33 communication, 22 yin yang, 14 caring connection here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Thank you. And the bottom of the deck, we got the ace of swords. So there is communication. And that's, remember, we saw that. So this person, and look, there goes the third, three of wands. What did I say? This person was mustering up the strength, courage, and wise dome because they see the work that you've done. So this person is mustering up the strength to do what? To cut them free from any losses, from any negativity, from the past, from people, places, things that they may be tied to. And also to open up and communicate, clear the air, extend an olive branch, or just even confess or express their feelings towards you. With this three of wands, they're ready to take action. This is a ready, set, go. The two of wands, that confusion that they were initially in, they are no longer in it because it's behind them. They're only holding on to the one staff, which shows that they are manifesting new. Whenever you have a staff, it's very similar to having an instrument, like a wand. You know, a staff could be an instrument that is used in uh, magical spells. So that's what this person is doing. They're manifesting something. Something that they've set intention for on 
it's here. You can see the ships docking and there appears to be four different ships docking. So this is someone that is manifesting stability, love, um, power, you know, connection, support, happiness, peace, you know, and you can see here the four, you know, the number four, and that's happy family. So this is someone that wants the happily ever after. And look, we got Stevie B <laughs> playing. And remember I was speaking earlier about Stevie J because that song, um, I forgot what that song was and I was like Stevie J. But um, with that Stevie um, B playing, it says, I want to be the one. So whomever this is, they want to be the one in your life. There's there's no denying. They want to be the one. Someone's name could be Stevie or B. This is the second time Stevie done came out. Earlier, uh, Stevie Wonder was singing. And then I went into that uh, diatribe because I saw in my mind's eye or heard, I should say, in my mind's eye, someone like um, someone strong. Uh, Spanish accent saying Stevie, you know, the way Jocelyn used to say it. that's what I was hearing and maybe I was picking up like someone would just You know humorously just call someone that just to be funny um, But that's the second time Stevie came out. So someone's definitely dealing with a Stevie someone's name could be Stevie We got keep sweat right in the wrong way to love someone so this person knows your love language and I feel like they're gonna communicate something they're gonna communicate this this desire um this four and this 11 that breaks down to two i mean six you know because 11 breaks down to two that's six so this is someone that could see themselves with you long term this is someone that could be even a past life love if you feel a very strong synergy or chemistry with this person and never been in a relationship that could also um insinuate that there's some sort of past life connection you know um but why is this 11 um, individuality and four happy family here for how this person or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them feel about them. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Didn't I say the two of cups? I can't make that up. And look at that, the nine of wands. So they feel you could be a little guarded, which is true. You know, Scorpios tend to be very guarded. Um, they tend to take on that, uh, that queen of swords type of energy. Um, just cutting free, cutting themselves free from things that are not serving their highest good. And as I'm speaking of the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. I can't make this up. So that's the kind of energy that you could have potentially been in. Um, you just kind of transformed into someone who was no longer just focused solely on like your emotional connections. You had to tap into your logic. You had to be more strategic. Um, and that's where you drew the line in terms of like just inviting people in or allowing people in. You establish boundaries as necessary because you were backstabbed, betrayed, duped, lied to. You can see you're wearing head bandage. So that means that there was a lot of mind, uckery, maybe even fog. And you can see the clouds are dissipating. So the clouds are kind of dissipating. You could have been in a very foggy place. Remember, we saw that anxiety card earlier. Um, and so that could be how this person per perceives you as just being very guarded um and that's what that nine of wands is all about it's just like someone who's um very guarded but you still got some fight in you um but it's almost like that energy of just um you know not really trusting other people you know and that's why i was picking up even with the individuality card they could just see you as someone who's single and you enjoy your singlehood like you don't want to be bothered because of whatever you've uh, you know you've experienced in your past but if that isn't true then you need to be open and receptive so that the love that you actually desire can come in because when you're in this energy nothing can come in you're blocking everything out so if you're open and receptive um to love because you seem to be because you're looking at it or maybe this could be you having certain memories of love. And, you know, remember what I was talking about earlier about not charging individuals with crimes they haven't committed. So if that is the energy you're in where you're just having trust issues and, you know, then maybe there's a little more healing that needs to be done. But what we also had that flew out was the two of cups. And that's what I was also picking up because I was breaking down how both of these ones that represents the healing that you've done within yourself and the healing that the person you're attracting to you has done within themselves. Um, because as I said earlier, when I see double numbers, I always feel like that's you and the person you're attracting to you mirroring one another. So with this 11, I feel like this almost can be like the ace of cups, the ace of wands, where you've taken the action 
to do the healing, the internal work, to heal at a soul level, to go back to the root cause of the problems, whether it be trauma, tra um, childhood trauma, familial trauma, a past life trauma. You've really done the necessary work to get to the root cause because the one deals with the root chakra. So we see the sword. Now you're cutting yourself free because you've had those epiphanies. But this person really feels you're the one. They feel like they can have an equal exchange of give and take. They feel like you are their person. And I feel ultimately they feel stronger in your presence. They feel like you have a very strong bond or chemistry or synergy. Um, and that's something that they are, you know, like they, they want to take the cup off your hands. You see that? Like they, he's like taking her cup for he's even... She's even reaching for his, you know. So this is that person that's going to be very sensitive to your needs. Um, you know, and even if it's not he taking her cup, like whomever, you know, because the energy is the energy. But whomever is reaching for this cup is like they, they want to show and prove that um, loving, you know, being in a loving connection dynamic with them, it will be fair and you will be treated like regalness and royalty because they've discovered um you know, that they require and desire that, that balance as well, that harmony as well. Um, and perhaps that they receive that from you because this four, the yin yang is also for happy family. And so that represents the eight that I was saying was the wish fulfillment, was the blessing, was the answered prayer, um, that could be coming towards you was unexpectedly coming towards you. So let's tap in. So Queen, King of Swords here on the bottom of the deck. So there's some communication with that King of Swords bringing you good news because it says happy ending. Why is 93 happy ending? Thank you, Spirit. We got the Ten of Pentacles. I mentioned that earlier as well. So you do have a happy ending here. The card um, music that's playing right now is Curtis Blow, The Breaks. So I do feel like, um, I feel like this is Spirit's way of saying, um, like, especially with the happy ending, you know, some things had to break apart, you had to break free, you know, um, you had to release before, you know, this happy ending could come in. And as I showed you earlier with the attachments and, you know, you feeling all tied up and having all these choices and being confused, that's the break that you needed. You needed to take the time to go within or take the time to connect with your higher self to consult um, with your higher self before taking any type of action or choosing any particular um, direction, you know. Um, so with the break, someone's name could be Curtis, um, but I definitely feel like with this Ten of Pentacles, you you will have an opportunity um, to have exactly what you were looking for initially, um, which is you know longevity, generational. Um, family, wealth, will, support, love, happiness, peace, you know, emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment, um, family, you know, this is, this is the ultimate family, um, loyalty, you know, someone that's going to be very loyal, someone who's going to be faithful, trustworthy, um, this is beautiful, so the card that flew out is the emperor. So this is a very powerful energy. So I do feel with that happy ending, there is someone who's now in their power. And I'm getting the strong sense that the person in their power is the same person um, that is the yin to your yang or yang to your yin. Uh, because they are now in harmony because they've taken the time to do their work. So let's just do, I want to catch some numbers here. So this emperor, they're a go-getter. They don't take no for an answer. Um, this is someone very uh, powerful. This is that same energy I was breaking down earlier. Um, you know, very regal energy, a boss, a go-getter. Um, and this is, you know, what's hidden. Uh, this could either be someone that has their eye on you if you're a feminine, or this could be the energy of that masculine that is tuning and tapping in. Um, and this is the reason why you are assured a happy ending so this is beautiful energy um, but I just want to break these cards down so we got three seven three this one one and three that's four four three that's seven eight six 
10. So all these cards reduced to 10. Every card, I've count, counted all the numbers of these cards, and it all reduces to 10. And so, as I said earlier, the 10s always indicate that there are endings, but every ending denotes there is a very beautiful brand new beginning. 10 is also associated with the Wheel of Fortune, so that means that something's coming full circle, or there is a turning point in your life. And with the breaks, maybe there was a period um, of delay, you know, because there was a lot of karmic work being done, or there was a lot of purging being done, or there was a lot of growing and learning and maturing taking place. And now things can take, you know, you can take action again, or there's movement, there's some momentum being built. So this is a powerful energy. But with this emperor here for what's hidden, you could have an emperor that is approaching you. This is what they have on their mind because this is the outcome, the Ten of Pentacles. And that just really just means emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment. It's a beautiful energy, a gratifying energy nonetheless. Why is the 74 um, individual, uh, oh, I'm sorry, nature and community here, seven. And there goes the fool. So that speaks to brand new starts, fresh starts. And the card that came out is the moon. So what did I say about shadow work, reflection? The moon speaks to manifestation as well, but the moon also speaks to what's hidden. Um, so you could have someone that could be a very um, calculated person, um, someone that is trying to take action. Maybe they're hiding their feelings. Maybe there's a lot of um, activity now, dream activity, communicating telepathically. If you look at this card, there are two towers. So remember there was a mirroring that was taking place and these two towers are very indicative because we saw 1313 earlier. Um, it's very indicative of um, two people going through major transformation in their lives. And I do feel that that is the truth because the 66 healing card came out. And remember what I said about double numbers? just really showcasing that you are in the very same energy as the person you're attracting to you and so if you're healing and the person you're healing is healing then that means you both have been through uh some tar some uh, tower moments or have had um some very uh, a very difficult journey um if you look on the bottom the fool is always um symbolizing a, a new beginning um, just taking a leap of faith, you know, and I feel even when you take a leap of faith, you still have to um, feel like you're in a safe space, so to speak, um, in order to take that leap. So I do feel like you will uh, trust your intuition and move accordingly based on, you know, whether or not it feels like it's safe. For you to do so so let's tap in we're going to post some messages from soul's journey uh the bottom of the deck we have empath empathy so that's naturally you know water signs are naturally um empaths um very connected to um their emotional um senses you know and very caring very very caring very loving very loyal individuals so many of you could be empaths it says i am open to seeing both sides of a situation so that could have been how you were able to um catapult yourself out of a situation that was almost like i feel like the key because this key stuck up stu you know stood out to me right there at the top that was almost the key to you kind of getting out of some sort of murky situation by just showing a little bit of empathy towards the other party, even if they wronged you or did you wrong, it was like you still had empathy, you still showed compassion, you still was um, was kind, and that's rare. Um, next we have gratitude. So remember what I was saying earlier about gratitude? This is what's on the split. And it says, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So I do feel like spirit wants you to focus more on gratitude opposed to worrying 
or just kind of darting out complaints, um, making complaints. Like I really feel like spirit wants you to start your day perhaps with a gratitude journal. Even if it just starts off with just naming three things you're, you, you're grateful for, for having. Um, and then kind of every week going up to at least five, then 10, then 20, you know, but growing that gratitude list so that every single day it's habitual that you check in um, and, be, and, and just show gratitude for what you have uh, because it could become um, like you could start feeling entitled um, to things when you are not grounded um, or you start becoming a victim, you start victimizing yourself. But when you stay rooted and grounded in gratitude, um, you can't, you, you'll never be in those, um, states of mind because you'll, you'll still be in a very, um, you'll, you'll have that sense of, um, attitude of gratitude, if you will. So let's go ahead. We're going to clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. All right. I was trying to stay under two hours. And it looks like we're going to be at two again. But this is good reading. It's been a little minute. So I know y'all appreciate the long readings for those that tune in. So we see success on the bottom of the deck. And it says, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Look at that. Success. So even in love, Spirit is saying you're going to have success in love. You're going to have success in finances. Because we saw that eight of pentacles. Look what came out. So it says abundance. I am a limitless being. And I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And this is exactly the strategy that you took by starting to speak those affirmations, you know, by confirming and, and affirming what you wanted opposed to focusing on problems, you focused on the solution. And that's why you're going to receive abundance. I was picking up the fact that you changed your mind. That was the key to you transforming your situation. You know, and that was by your angels because we saw Archangel Mikael show up. So Archangel Mikael, Archangel Gabriel also showed up for the throat chakra. You also had um, the angel of balance. You also had Archangel Metatron who was reminding you to trust your intuition because you had an envious energy uh, kind of looking, you know, your way. And, and, and so this is what they're envious about because you have abundance it's already been shown that you're going to have victories and success and personal door to healing and happiness and this is just confirmation so this is beautiful next card you have blame so this person this is for who or what you're attracting to you it says blame it says i accept responsibility for my well-being so this is what this person had to do remember when i was saying that this person had some internal work there was obviously that hangman um, position they were stuck in where they were forced to look at things from a different perspective and so only healing um, healing can only take place when you've taken that accountability or taken responsibility and onus for your part in something crumbling or meeting its demise and it looks like this person is now blaming themselves um, you know maybe they uh, were blaming another person but now you know with clarity um, of the situation, they are now, you know, fully aware um, that they can, you know, they have to accept responsibility uh, for where they are. They can no longer blame someone else or be a victim or victimize another person. No, taking onus is the, the only way to, to liberation, to being free. Um, next card you have is death. So this is how they feel about you. They felt um, that you are um, going through, you know, this startling metamorphosis, the death card represents Scorpios to the fullest. So this is very much in harmony and synchronicity with your energy and your vibration. Um, and so it really strongly looks like they see you through the lens of someone who has transformed. It says, I am learning that my endings are merely beginnings. And that's exactly um, where you are right now is you are on the precipice of a new start because you're owning your independence. You're owning, you know, this sense of freedom, you know, no longer, uh, allowing yourself to be led astray or to be misguided or misdirected or to be mistreated or to have someone codependent on you or to treat you, um, you know, to not appreciate or value you. It's like, this is, it's the death of the old and the you know emergence of this new version of you and it's just a beautiful energy next card we have is discipline 
So this is clarifying um, what's hidden. And it says, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So this is all about a state of mind. And remember, you know, you, you had some, some energy here that was kind of holding you back, whether this was your own energy, you know, kind of, you know, self deprecating or, you know, self limiting beliefs, um, self loathing, even, um, whatever this is, you know, whatever these attachments were negative thought processes, negative, low vibrational ideologies, people, places, and things around you, uh, causing you to feel this way. You had to change your mind about you know the power you possess that's why that leadership card showed up because that was the energy that you had to harness you had to get into that energy of power in order to you know be a representation of discipline that you needed to get out of that so it says i can accomplish what i set my mind to and that's exactly what you did you set your mind to having peace and salvation and having a happier um you know outcome and that's exactly what you're doing. And next we have the balance card. And this is the second time this card has come out pretty much because we have the 22 yin yang, which represents balance as well. So you are in harmony. Um, your higher self, you know, your masculine and feminine um, aspects are in harmony with one another. And this is clarifying the outcome. So you're in harmony. And it says balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment and so that is your natural state of being our natural state of being is to be lovers you know it's not it's nature versus nurture um, you know and when you nurture certain aspects of yourself um, you can you can strengthen it and I feel like that's what you many of you have had to do um, because when you're when you are imbalanced you know that means that there is some grounding that needs to take place and in order to become grounded you have to go out in nature um and you have to connect you know with mother gaia daughter earth and so that's what brought the harmony that could have you know brought some of those feelings and emotions that were kind of lying dormant up to the surface for you to deal with perhaps someone could be coming in to restore the balance of masculine and feminine yin and yang energy. Either way, there's success. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. So it says there's success, there's happiness, and there's trust. These are all in the bottom of the deck. So you have beautiful energy. Uh, no question about it. This is a very beautiful message, positive message for you, beloved Scorpios. I hope that the message has resonated. If you are new here, I hope you appreciated the reading. I hope you enjoyed the way that I read. If you found that it was um, helpful or that it resonated, please be kind, hit the like, share, subscribe button, um, and definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. And I just thank you all for tuning and tapping in and sticking with me for two hours. Until next time, send a big fat ashe yo. Peace.